Well, I'm still traumatised. <laughs> it was so emotional. It was fantastic. What an amazing, amazing piece of telly. Thank it you very really much. It really was extraordinary. Yeah. And I'm so glad that you did that. I'm Thank so, you. so glad you did. Any human being would have done the same. It was, yeah, it was, a, it was not a straightforward decision by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, you just have to look at the facts that are in front of you before you make a decision like that. And it's exactly what we did. They are amazing, yeah. aren't they? Absolutely they are. amazing. Like you, I'm totally fascinated by Antarctica. I've only been to the peninsula. Right. You've been really to the heart <laughs> there. You really have. It changes you an experience like that, don't you think? Well, someone said, uh, I can't remember exactly who it was, someone said, um, a man never goes down to Antarctica and comes back the same. Mm. And I think there's an element of that. I think there's um, there's a lot of um, mental but also physical challenges down there. So it's a bit of a roller coaster ride being in a place like that for such a long period of time. Um, if I was to give an over overarching sort of um, decision on if I enjoyed it or not, not, I thought it was absolutely mind blowing. And David Attenborough <laughs> said it was all right for you to help. He said that was okay. It is, it is great to get that support. David yes. was aware of it probably about six months ago when we were, you mm -hmm. know, putting the film together, and um, and yeah, it was great that everybody was on board, and it was brilliant that we could just, you know represent what it was like for us to be down there during yeah. that time and the unique experiences that happened whilst filming and whilst living there. It's, um, yeah. it's just really good to be able to share that with people. Oh, it's incredible. And the reaction has been overwhelming, hasn't it? I mean, people, people have been talking about this for days. Mother Nature is cruel. Yeah, it there's a very good really reason cruel. why it's any of these guys down there. Oh. It's only the hardiest animals that can take it. And yeah, massive respect oh, yeah. to emperor penguins. But also to you guys for filming it and bringing it to us so that oh, we can you. see it. And, and of course, you must have got really close. And one of you, I mean, this is dedication to duty. A, his little baby was born, he became a dad. Yeah, Lindsay McRae, the, um, the, the cameraman. <laughs> yep. That was actually, that was lovely, I think, for, for all of us down there, because it was just this little nugget of normality that was thrown into a, quite an unusual lifestyle sure. down in Antarctica. Oh, there the he little is. Walter was born. <laughs> yeah, I think he's 19 months old now as Walter. Wow. Um, yeah, but no, that was really, really special. Incredible. Incre yeah. It was an, an amazing, amazing thing. But as you said, physically and mentally, it's hard. In some respects, the environment is almost like a predator. Yeah. Um, I mean, that is what the, the film is about. It's, uh, it's about how, through their cooperation, it's the only way that they can survive down there. Mm. And there's this payoff between either a, a predatory challenge somewhere else, if they were further north, or challenge from the environment by being down there during the winter on the continent. And um, to see that firsthand was um, was very humbling, really. I also think what's incredible is you bring these into our living rooms. We can see this. And actually, without preaching at us, because you never did that at yeah. all, it makes you realise we have to work really hard to keep these yeah. animals to make sure that you know, they, we don't lose them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's, there's not been a huge amount of research that's been done on emperor penguins because they're at the end of the earth. It's, mm -hmm. You've got to make such a commitment to be down there and study them over that long period of time. I, I don't know how much time uh, we spent with the penguins in comparison to scientists in the past, but um, when I was speaking to scientists when I came back, um, I remember one of them was just like, Will, can you slow down? I'm just trying to write all this down. He was writing more down about what we'd seen wow, than, I was, than, than he so was really uh, than I was about him. Gosh. So there's still a huge amount that's unknown about a lot of these species, yeah. but their environment and, you know, the challenges they face going forwards is, is quite uncertain. It sure is. Well, thank you. Thanks a million. I've got to be present for you. Um, you they're they're actually, I know, I'm, it's very silly, but I thought you might like it. It's for Christmas. Oh, they're a limited edition that. and they're actually <laughs> for charity as well, but not just. And it says, I don't know if you can see that right, but it does say... Attenborough. Attenborough! And I thought that was appropriate for you because you spent so much time I in the cold. I am going to be, yeah, everybody's <laughs> going to be so jealous back in Bristol. <laughs> that is gold. <laughs> oh, I love that.